What up though y'all, this is All Hustle No Cap. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Zada and how to buy that shit. All right, now if you're new to my channel, this is where we talk about a lot of hustling, side hustles, entrepreneurial shit, crypto, everything having to do with some money. Now, if you like content like that, please don't forget to smash the like button, the subscribe button, and notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on IG. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into what Zada is in this video. If you want to know more, I suggest you check out their website. So a lot of people have been talking about Zada coin lately, mainly because it's been making some big moves in the market. A lot of people know that when you hold the Zada coin, that you automatically generate Cardano. And since it is generating passive income, a lot of people want to know, how do you get the Zada coin? And if you like me, you went to YouTube to try to figure it out. But the videos they got out there are really kind of confusing and not really well explained. Using PancakeSwap in general can be a little intimidating. But don't trip. I'm going to take you through the steps. We're going to break it down and you're going to be buying Zada in no time. Hey, y'all. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to buy Zada coin. Now, just a disclaimer, this video assumes that you already know how to buy ETH and you already have a MetaMask wallet set up. So, if you got those two things, you're straight. If not, I'll put a link in the description of how to install MetaMask. All right. So, once you got MetaMask installed, you're going to get this little Fox icon right here. So, the first thing you're going to do is click it and it's going to bring up your uh, metamask wallet now by default you're going to be on the ethereum network this is important because when you want to buy zada you got to be able to be on the uh, binance smart chain network so to get on the binance smart chain network you got to click this arrow now you'll see my shit already say binance smart chain because i already set my shit up maybe a few days ago but if you don't have this here you just come down here to add network all right so once you come to this screen you're going to enter all this information i got right here just like this and I'm gonna put this information in the description so you guys could just copy and paste it and then you come down here and click save now you see my shit is already grayed out because I already have this but you'll be able to save it and then once you do that it will bring you to this screen but you're not gonna have any tokens so don't worry about this balance right here so now the next thing we got to do is add the Zada token and we got to add Cardano now it's already here on mine because I already did this but I'm still gonna take you through the steps so the first thing you got to do is go to import tokens and it'll come here and it'll ask for a contract address now I'm gonna put the token address in the description below, but you can also go to the Zada website and scroll down and you'll see that they got the token address right here on the website. Double click the highlight and copy the address. You can paste that to token address. Now it says my token has already been added, but once you do that, it'll automatically generate this token symbol in the decimal and you won't have to worry about it. And then to add Cardano, you do the same thing. You go to import tokens you can just google ada contract address to get that but it's right here and i'll also put that in the description below just copy and paste that over there and it'll do the same thing again this has already been added for me so it doesn't do it but if you do this it'll auto generate all of this and you just click add token all right so at this point you should have bnb you should have zada and you should have ada all with zero balances in your metamask now we have to exchange ether from the eth network to the bnb network all right, now to do that, we go to simpleswap.io and we come here and we change Bitcoin into Ethereum because we're trading Ethereum and we're trading it into a BNB token. So we're going to type in BNB, but we want to make sure we go to this one right here, the Binance coin, because we're putting it on the Binance smart chain. Do not send it to this one. Send it to the BNB-BSC Binance coin BSC BEP20. This is very important. So make sure you click this one. All right, so for this video, I'm going to do like around a little bit over 100 bucks. So that's like 0.03 ETH. And you see it automatically converts it and tells you how much you're going to get in the BNB coin. So when you put it in, you see it tells you how much you'll get in the BNB coin. And then all you got to do is go to MetaMask and put your BNB address right here. So to get your Binance coin address, you just come up to MetaMask and click that. And you make sure you're on the Binance Smart Chain Network and not the Ethereum Network. You want to make sure you're on the Binance Smart Chain Network. And, and you come here and then you click this to copy the address to the clipboard and then you just come over here and paste it and we obviously blurred that out for security purposes all right so back now we go to click exchange and then it comes up with this information all right so you're gonna come here and you're gonna copy this address right here and then come up to MetaMask and you're going to send your ethereum so we're going to put this address right here that we copied and pasted right here and we're going to come here to usd and then switch it to eth because we want to make sure we send the exact amount and we're going to type in 0 0.03 eth and you see it's 123 dollars we're going to click next and then we're going to send it and now you see it's pending right here 
Now, if we come back over here, we'll be able to keep up with the status of it right here. You see it says waiting right now, but soon it's going to register and it'll go to confirming, then exchanging, then sending. Once it gets to sending, a lot of times it'll show up in your uh, MetaMask account, but sometimes you got to wait until it says finish. But we'll watch it and we'll probably fast forward this video and I'll let you know how long it is, but it's usually like five or ten minutes. All right, we can see it's confirming right now and pending one confirmation. All right, now I say ascending. Should be almost done shortly. All right, y'all, it's still saying sending and it hasn't saying finish, but we're gonna go ahead and check MetaMask and go to Binance. And we see that it actually did deposit this money in here because remember I had way less than this before. So if you don't know where to get Zada or any coin for that matter, you can just go to coin market cap and put in whatever coin you're looking for. But in this case, we're gonna do Zada. And you can come down here and it's gonna show you what exchanges it's on. So right now we see Zada's on pancake swap. So we're gonna have to go to Zada. We'll click this right here. All right, now to a pancake swap by default, it gives you a BNB, &B, which is what we already got, and we want to swap that for the Zada. So what we're gonna do is come here to where it says cake because it selects cake by default. So we'll click that, and right here you can copy and paste the Zada contract code. So again, that's right here on the website, and I'll have it in the description where you can just copy and paste it, which is to go there and you put the contract address right there, and it pulls it up right there. So Zada. Okay, so now all I have to do is trade my BNB for the Zada. So I'm going to do all of my BNB. So I'm going to click max and then I'm going to click swap. Now it's going to come up with this screen right here. And all you got to do is click confirm swap. But you might get this error right here. So if you get this error right here, you come up here to these settings and you want to switch your slippage from 0 0.50 to 23%. And then close this window back. And you'll see it shows up right here at 23%. And then go ahead and swap it. And now you see it comes up with this window. And we can just go ahead and confirm it. Now it says transaction submitted. View on BSC scan. Click OK or close. And we see that it's still pending. So it didn't go through just yet. Now we see that we lost that balance and that the swap doesn't say pending anymore. So if we go over here to assets, we now see that I've added more Zada to my total. Now, if you're on this video, I'm pretty sure you're already aware of this, but the reason why we also set up the ADA is by holding this Zada token, you automatically get some passive ADA tokens in your wallet. So um, that's gonna be a bonus. So I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy that. So I hope y'all found this video a lot less confusing than the other videos I've seen on YouTube. If y'all found this content helpful, please don't forget to smash the like button, the subscribe button, and notification bell. And don't forget to follow me on IG. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, peace.